I have people coming into my office on a regular basis who all think that their hamstrings are super tight. And just because we can get into a stretch and feel a stretch or feel some restriction doesn't mean something's tight. It just might mean that we are in our end range of motion, right? So I would expect if I stretch something to feel a stretch there. So a lot of times we need to use more objective measures because feeling something that's tight is not something that I can measure. It's a subjective sensation. However, if you feel like your hamstrings are tight, there's a couple things that I'll usually check with people to see are we actually limited in our range of motion by our hamstrings or are we just having a perception? And that is two things. If you can bend down and touch your toes, no problem, your hamstrings are probably not tight. If you can lay on your back and lift your leg close to 90 degrees or more while your knee is locked, foot is locked up towards the ceiling and other knee is locked, you also probably don't have super tight hamstrings. You may, however, just not have great control of the ranges of motion that you have. And so now we have a perception of tightness and that is very common in what I see. So a lot of times when I work with people that feel like their hamstrings are tight all the time, we will end up needing to work on some of the open deficits that they have, which are big ranges of motion differences between their passive range of motion, what gravity or someone else can put them in versus their active, what they have control in. So one of the ways to demonstrate your passive and active range of motion was knowing the difference between feeling a stretch and getting into a stretch and then seeing if you can control that movement. A lot of times that looks like this for your hamstrings. So I'm gonna set up in a one half lunge position. We're gonna lean into this and find a nice great stretch by keeping ourselves tall, using the blocks if you need to, thinking about tailbone up towards the ceiling and leaning forward with our belly buttons. I feel a nice beautiful stretch under my hamstrings. So you're gonna to go to your end range of motion. You're gonna keep the knee locked. We're gonna to try to lift our leg here. A lot of people laugh at me when this happens, but this is what I want you to do. Just try to lift your leg. A lot of people are like, I can't do anything. Some people can, super awesome. If you can't do anything or your leg seizes up, you just don't have great connection to your leg in that position and strength is angle specific, meaning we can be strong in one range of motion, but not in others. And most of us are strong in our mid ranges because that is the way our bodies work and because we train that in the gym, most of us need a little bit more end range work. So. The way that we work on that is come to our nice, beautiful stretch position and then contract. So I'm trying to keep my legs straight, contracting all of this stuff, like I'm trying to make my foot light on the ground. From there, I'm going to squeeze and try to lift my leg. It's not going to go anywhere. I'm going to lean back as much as I need to, but as little as possible to get that leg off the ground. As soon as I can clear it off the ground, I stop and hold for five seconds. Then we parachute it back down and go back to the restarted position. These are getting into our passive range positions and starting to gain a little bit more strength and control. A lot of people that end up having tight hamstrings just need a little bit more control. This is often one of the ways that we start to work on that. It might be something that you need. And if you cramp during this in your quads, it's definitely a sign that this is something you need to work on.